The Artifact Clone X collection is one of the most hyped NFT projects through all of 2021. The creators have already had massive success with their other collections, and now a lot of people are super excited about this new launch. The pre-sale and public sale dates have already been announced, and I'm gonna be giving you all the information you need before the launch. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how and when to mint a Clone X NFT, and I'll also be discussing whether or not you should be minting a Clone X NFT for yourself. I'm Devin Cook, let's talk about the Clone X avatars, and welcome back to dev money. So first things first, if you're not aware, the Clonex Avatar Project is a collection of 20,000 unique NFTs from Artifact Studios, which have been very successful with their other NFT projects. And some of the utilities that you're going to get from these NFTs that they talk about on their Discord is you're going to be getting airdrops if you're an owner of these NFTs. You're going to get some different artifact benefits. You're going to get a 3D model of your NFT. This is the first ever real 3D anime avatar project. They're going to be enabled for the metaverse with updates along the way. The rarest DNA slash type of these NFTs have just 15 to 50 avatars. There's gonna be eight different DNAs. Those eight different DNAs unlock access to different DNA branding letting you forge sneakers plus merch. And if you're not aware with Artifact, forging basically means you can convert your NFT into an actual physical good in the real world. There's gonna be over 300 plus Artifact 3D traits and some traits may be forged by the owner for a physical piece. Examples are shirts, necklaces, sometimes even sneakers as well. So that's a really quick rundown of the project. Make sure to get onto their website and read through everything as well for yourself if you're really interested. But we're gonna just dive into this Clonex project on their website, clonex.artifact.com. And we're gonna see all the information we need to know about the dates so that way you can purchase one if you would like to. And just so you're aware, I've not been sponsored. I have no contact with the creators of this NFT project. I just think it's cool. I think it's getting a lot of hype. So I figured I'd talk about it here with you. And so you can see that there's gonna be 20,000 avatars and it's gonna be split between the public sale and the pre-sale, but they won't be split evenly like we previously thought. The pre-sale is gonna have access to 11,133 of these avatars, so a bit more than half. And they wanna make this pre-sale as affordable as possible to reward our collectors, hence we have chosen a price point of 0.05 ETH for the artifact pre-sale. One qualified artifact NFT gives three reserve opportunities to buy into the 48-hour pre-sale, excluding the MetaKey Edition 2 artifact version that gives only one opportunity in pre-sale. So basically, if you already own an artifact NFT, you're gonna have access to this 48-hour window pre-sale where you're gonna have the opportunity to mint up to three of these Clonex NFTs. And if you go onto their Discord under the Clonex info portion and scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna see this big link right here. And that's gonna take you to OpenSea and you're gonna see all 156 NFTs that you can purchase that will allow you access to the pre-sale. And they're gonna be doing a snapshot of all of the holders of these NFTs, which is basically them taking an image of all of the addresses of these NFT holders. So that way those wallet addresses have access to the pre-sale. And I've scoured their Discord a bit, but I haven't seen a date yet for the snapshot, but you will have to own one of these NFTs prior to that snapshot if you do want access to the pre-sale. And each wallet address that's captured with the snapshot is gonna be airdropped a disc that is gonna allow you to mint your Clonex NFTs during the pre-sale. And all of the current owners voted on the pre-sale price and they voted to make it very low, which is why it's 0.05 Ethereum. Now there has been some grumbling online about people complaining about how the pre-sale price is so low, but you have to spend so much money to get one of these artifact NFTs and get access to that pre-sale. Because if you see here on open see all of these eligible NFTs that are going to get you access to the pre-sale and they're sorted from low to high. The minimum you're going to spend is 14.4 Ethereum right now. 14.4, a bunch of 16.95s, 17.5, 18s, 18s. There's basically some really expensive NFTs that you have to buy in order to get access to this pre-sale. And a lot of people aren't a big fan of that. They think it's unfair, but this is actually a really great way to reward those people that have been with them from the get-go and that haven't sold their NFTs for these high prices. So it can definitely be seen both ways. It can be seen as a way to reward those who have been with the project and the creators for a long time. But also it does favor those people that have access to a lot of funds right now can go buy one of these NFTs secondhand and then get access to that pre-sale. So it's kind of a double-edged sword there. And this pre-sale is going to be happening on the 27th of November. And then following that 48 hour window, the public sale will be happening on the 29th of November. And on that public sale, you're going to be able to mint the last 8,367 of these NFTs. They are still confirming the price of the mint for the public sale. And the public sale will be a Dutch auction where each buyer can purchase three avatars per user's wallet. But they also did say on the Discord that the price is to be announced, but the starting price is gonna be between one and three Ethereum. So definitely much higher than those pre-sale NFTs at 0.05 Ethereum. But if you have the option of getting into the pre-sale by buying a 14 Ethereum NFT, well, it might just be worth it to stick with the public sale and mint one at somewhere between one and three Ethereum. And how a Dutch auction works is the price actually drops every so often. So say the price for these NFTs start at three Ethereum, then say every 
every 30 minutes, we'll know more when they announce details. Let's say every 30 minutes that price drops by say 0.1 Ethereum. So 30 minutes goes by and it's 2.9 Ethereum. Another 30 minutes and it's 2.8 Ethereum until it reaches a floor price of say one and a half Ethereum. And so then you're kind of in this position where you don't know if you should buy it now because you know the price is gonna drop lower, but you also know other people might be looking to hit a certain price and could buy it before you. So I think a Dutch auction is really a good way to go. Gary V did that with V friends. And from my perspective, it works pretty well. Now, one of the issues we do have with the public sale is we do have potential for gas wars. I haven't read anything about a solution that they're gonna be using to minimize that. So do be aware that gas fees, especially during a very popular mint and release of an NFT can go extremely high. And also when V friends was launched back in May, there was a glitch that was causing gas fees to show up as over four Ethereum, which is just crazy. And it's gonna keep a lot of people from minting. Now that definitely shouldn't happen. Hopefully we don't see any glitches, but do be aware that gas fees can be very expensive during popular launches. And you need to price that in when you're deciding whether or not to buy one of these NFTs. So in order to purchase one of these NFTs on the 27th during the pre-sale or on the 29th during the public sale, you're just gonna have to come onto their website, connect your wallet, and you're gonna be able to mint these NFTs. But the real question is, should you be minting these NFTs, especially if you're one of those people that is only gonna be able to get in with the public sale? Well, that's a really great question. And I know a lot of people get some serious FOMO because you know they see these NFTs and maybe they're gonna sell for you know one Ethereum, two Ethereum, or even three Ethereum. And they think they're gonna instantly go to 20 and they're scared of missing out on all of this money. But let's take a minute to remember and compare this project to another super hyped NFT project, Mechaverse. And a lot of you will probably know that there was tons of hype around the Mechaverse launch and a lot of people wanted to get in. And after the launch, but pre-reveal, the floor price on these Mechaverse NFTs had reached nine Ethereum. And there was even some extremely high sales with the highest one going for 125 Ethereum. And I know a lot of people were looking at this, myself included, thinking, man, what a great opportunity. I should have minted one of those. But just to show that we really don't know what's gonna happen in the future, there were some different controversies going on with the Mechaverse project and the floor price dropped to actually below one Ethereum and is right now just sitting around one and a half Ethereum. Now, I'm not saying that this is what's gonna happen with the Clone X project, but just because there's a lot of hype around a project and there's a big following doesn't mean that everything's gonna go smoothly. It doesn't mean that it's immediately gonna become as popular as Board Ape Yacht Club and reach a floor price of 50 Ethereum. You really don't know what's gonna happen and you just have to make a calculated bet the best you can. So if you're interested in getting into this project, be aware that if you're looking to buy in secondhand, you are probably gonna see some inflated prices pre-reveal. But also keep in mind, if you do buy in before the reveal, you do have a chance to get an extremely rare NFT, although those chances are quite small, but it could be a big payoff if it happens. So if you are into the project, I would say go for it. If you can mint during the pre-sale, I think it's a no-brainer. If you really believe in the brand and the creators and the community, then I would say go for it. But that's ultimately up to you and you have to make this decision based upon your own personal conviction of the brand and the project. If this is your first NFT project, I would probably recommend that you go with another project that doesn't have such high of a price. Unless you're the kind of person that just likes to go all in, but do keep in mind that you can find other good NFT projects that are minting even in the public sale for 0.05 Ethereum or around that price. But do keep in mind, I'm not giving you financial advice. These are just my thoughts and my opinions on this project and you need to do your own research and only spend money on NFTs that you can afford to go to zero because there is a chance that that happens. So let me know in the comments what you think about this project. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, do all those things and I'll see you in the next video.